I'm Thomas. And as some of you know, I chose to unbox advent calendars during the month of December in short form videos. Well, they're all unboxed. That's all available for you to go check out if you want to. But now I want to review each box, starting with the worst. It's getting this title because it ended, ended up being the most aggravating. And what I'm referring to is right here. It is Joyan brand well, advent calendar and they make their own kind of knockoff Legos and this one Microbot Builders. The idea of this seems cool. The idea of this really seems cool. Little Voltron-esque type characters and you open it up and there's 12 days of nifty little packages. Um, let's see. I put it in a Ziploc container, but basically you get about that much. You know, each one with a little instruction pack. This thing had the greatest potential. Only being 12 days, but still. Um, but it, it was just the most aggravating. For one, I had to find workarounds. This ultra tiny print. Like, I have to get really close for you to see it. It probably looks fine in the video. But in person, like, look, the size of my finger is reference. So, yeah, in some cases, really difficult to figure out what pieces were needed. It was tricky, but I figured it out. But that, that was just step one of, of <laughs> this wonderful set of annoyances. Step two of my annoyances with this, and I know I'm just starting griping about it, and I'll show the products that I've made so far. And some of these, um, I guess a good example of any. Right through here we see, right here, it's supposed to be a sticker that goes down on each block. And if we look, the box, and finished products, it says things like racing across his chest here. That was a sticker. None of these days, like all 12 days as I pulled them out, none of them came with stickers. That was mm, annoyance number two. Give me one moment. See, we have, there were some cars to make a car Voltron, which these are actually quite passable without stickers. And all these would come together to make a bigger robot. Now, so the first we got was dinosaurs. I think the first one I unboxed and put together was this little guy right here. Do you see that round circle? It's supposed to have a sticker with an eye on it. And some of the like, smooth areas, like the tail, like extra textures to really give that dinosaur feel. Uh, and I was kind of enjoying putting these together for a little bit. You know, we see each one. This Triceratops pretty cool. Once again, this plain white eyes kind of gives it a demon look. This was supposed to be some kind of a T-Rex. Kind of disappointing. His head doesn't bend any further than that. And getting him to stand. Very tricky. So he, he, he's probably like the worst looking one, in my opinion. Um, the pterodactyl, because the dinosaur little Voltron type thing was supposed to have wings, which would have been cool. And I guess the, these are supposed to be the hands of the robot, but just on the pterodactyl, it's like creepy hands. Uh, my son thinks the white eyes on this one makes the pterodactyl look like a demon. <laughs> Once again, the, the smoothness here, uh, it's... They require the stickers. Seriously. Like I had fun putting them together, but the finality of all of this. Um, but, so I have the separate set of instructions outside of the box. Shows how to put together the robots. And it requires all the parts. See, six cars, which I have them. Six cars. When I put that together, this robot did not stand up very well. 
It's uh, one of those moments you want to glue it together and just leave it in position on the shelf. No, no, then we get to the dinosaur. We're supposed to use six dinosaurs. Do you see six dinosaurs? And there was a lot of anticipation building up to this. Um, not only are we missing this dinosaur, a lot of these packages came with extra parts such uh, to build the final robot, such as these, like sword, claw, whatever you want to call them, giant blades for the arm. My assumption is they came with that robot because I don't have them. They're this dinosaur here. And yeah, it was wildly disappointing. Like went through all of this, uh, had its trickiness because like, they're, they're Lego rock, uh, knockoffs. So you know that they weren't perfect. But you have this anticipation to get this final product. We're missing that, which ends up being this leg. So the thing couldn't even stand up. So in a whole, this whole project here, uh, 12 day advent calendar, had the ultimate potential to be the number one spot for me. But those aggravations and then the whole just finality of that missing, and it's not like they didn't put anything in day 12, they just gave me a repeat to build a second one of these, which clearly I already have. <sighs> and naturally I did complain on Amazon along with a lot of other people. No reply, but I mean, it's an advent calendar. These people got their money before the season started. People didn't start complaining until afterwards. So, but yeah, join. If you get things from them, you take a serious risk. I mean, there's a major price difference. I imagine if uh, we had a set like this with Lego, we probably would have spent over $100 easy. And I spent 30 bucks. But still would not recommend. Yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about this. Uh, if I go on any longer, I'll just be completely ranting. So hopefully you found this helpful. And I do plan on reviewing the remaining uh, like six more that I unboxed this month. So stay tuned. Saying click that subscribe button, um, the bell icon, receive notifications when I drop the next video. Give it a like to help out that lovely YouTube algorithm. And I'll catch you in the next one.